Let's see if he runs up against the obstacle here in Antony. Yeah, and you no. Know, always interesting seeing the mirror matchups. Really allows players to express, you know, their better feel of the neutral, the better feel of the walk speed, and just the range of those buttons. It's, this is going to be an interesting one because Antony, of course, has is, is notebook Ken. <laughs> notebook Ken. But I don't think he has a page of notes on 86. Oh, so, but so, so he's going to be learning as we play. But 86 already making an early mistake there, unsafe moves, and Antony not letting any of those slide, taking the corner quite early. Right back to the fireball game. Ooh, the sweep is, is the risky way to get out, but it paid off. Yeah, great way to work his way out of the corner. <laughs> We're going to see a lot of that special move over the course of this set, man. That EX-Tatsu is definitely the way to get around. Especially against a fireball character. Oh, oh that's, that's really unsafe. Possible. Oh my god, 86, what are you doing here? A little bit of nerves. I think he, he sees that he has an opportunity to go very far tonight, and uh, he's been wanting to be for a long time. Oh, 100%. I love the infighting with Ken, and Ken gets a heck of a reward off of a, a good counter hit back strong. Oh, absolutely. There we go. Once again, that special. But wow, 86 having none oh, of it was man. right back there. Oh, my God. You got to fight fire with fire sometimes. And the uppercut's the only fire you got. All right, let's see. 86 down to uh, jab health. But here we go. Here's the comeback possibility. Okay. All right, next hit's going to win this one. We're looking for a dash throw. Oh. Now, sadly for ASIC there, I, if I'm not mistaken, I believe you get a uh, a light uppercut or a medium uppercut before doing the EX uh, uppercut there on that juggle. So he might have been able to actually get a little more he, damage. He can do that. Uh, he has been talking to me recently about how he doesn't feel like it's very consistent, at least what he's playing. So maybe in this scenario, he's not just trying to, trying to keep it keep it safe, keep it simple. Tournament combos, you know. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh, no wood punish on that overhead, but here we go. <gasps> Oh, this drop sadly are really going to hurt him there, especially at this point of the tournament. Cannot leave damage on the table like that. Yeah, and he'll uh, he'll let that get to him. Uh, so hopefully he's composed and ready here in this kind of mirror. And one thing already, Anthony really showing that he has a fireball game that 86 has not served himself so far. Certainly not, but we also see 86 throwing out those sweeps right into the run, and none of the runs have been punished. Oh, so yeah. if you can get away with that, then hey, just keep it up. Oh my oh. god, the tricky, dirty resets. We got tech. There's that overhead. One hit away from stun, one hit away from the round. All right, and you know. interesting combo. Right into the corner. What does Anthony have for us? Wow. That jab. pause there. Oh my god. In my the standing shimmy. And then 86 doing the very punishable uppercut into V-Trigger. And you'd think Anthony would have the punish ready. Yeah. But here we are in round three. I mean, may as well do that uppercut. If you're not, the opponent's not going to punish that, then hey, get the uppercut. Get that damage, get that round. And that's going to hurt Anthony's composure too. Like, you always want to think about how can you damage their mentality and not just their character. Especially and that a, hurt. a mental game like True Fire 5. The more you can make the opponent hesitate, the more second guess themselves, the better you're going to do. Yep. And here we are 20 seconds into this round, and it's easily the most calm round we've seen. Nobody's in the corner, just fishing with fireballs. Uh, both players instantly going to that four frame back strong. Oh. And finally hitting the best special of the game. <laughs> hey, that EX Tatsu is there. You might as well use it. There's that sweep right out of the corner again. Oh, this is going to hurt. Let's see what the punish is. And it seems A6 just one step ahead on those uh, the Yomi mind games when he gets knocked out. Just one, one tiny step ahead. Let's see. This game can definitely go either way. Ooh. Wow. What a good whip punish, too. Ready for that. Anthony needs to bust out his notebook right now. Make a note. Paul. Love sweep. Loves the sweep. Sweep run. <laughs> he needs to write down that you punish, can punish the run. Run. <laughs> <laughs> Not safe. I believe. I believe. Well, let's see. Let's see. I don't think Anthony's been doing much of normal into run, so maybe he doesn't have it in his head like just how easily uh, punished it is. Yeah, but once again, Anthony's still the only the only one to really assert a good fireball game here. But either way, both players still. Looking like they want to play around the normal range. Yeah, a little more. Yeah, that sound around house is doing a lot of work for both players at this point. We've seen crush counters both ways. Ooh, Ooh what a whip punish. punish. Yeah. Oh, Paul is just scrapping his way out of the corner here. I mean, that's how he took that first game. Definitely a little bit of scraps. And oh wow. my god. Speaking of scrap, that was a little too much. <laughs> a little too scrappy. Check there, staying safe. Anthony has a big life lead, doesn't right, want to blemish it on a bad read. Right back to the fireball. But both these players now sitting on that meter. Where's that EX Tatsu? Ken, one of the few characters that could actually anti-air it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Still finds that uh, one of the rare cases where you jump in, 
commit to the Tatsu before he recognize the Fireball Punish is there. Yeah, wait, well, he's still got the Throw Punish, and now Anthony is uh, coming off of a very commanding round one here in Game 2. And we were talking about this earlier on stream. When you go down that first game, you want to have that commanding round one in Game 2. Yeah. Well, Anthony, now I'm, I'm, I'm a little more confident in his composure right after that Matty Pie set. Dude, except oh. these runs right now. Oh, throw, throw, throw. We saw this earlier with Pavo. All right, that's plus. Yeah. Good job with that v -Russell. Wow, air to air on that Tatsu. Oh my god, the resets for days on 86. What a round pressure. from 86. Oh, that was a perfect. That was a perfect. And you rarely oh see a perfect god. against the Ken, you know, because they have that Tatsu to get in. You're going to block something, but wow, what a commanding round. Especially 70 seconds in. Like, that's enough time for, like, something to get blocked <laughs> something normally. to get blocked, especially with the Fireball heavy game as he's playing. All right, anyway, here we are. 86 potentially ready to take this set, but we've seen Anthony claw his way out of the defeat before. The bravery from both players, but once again, 86 is one step ahead of Yomi, and that's going to lead to the super conversion here. Yep. Big life lead here for him on match point. He won't be able to build another super, but I think another two hits, and that's going to be it. Anthony's sitting on a lot of meters. It's far from over. Oh, trying to get a little shimmy in there. Doesn't find it. 86 still working that normal into run. Yeah, and sadly, Anthony burned that bar, so he's not going to have that super conversion anymore. Finally, Ooh. the run punish is there. Oh, this, there's that Tatsu that he's worried about dropping. Back with V-Trigger, though. Oh, punishable, but once again, Wow, Anthony. the uppercut afterwards. And that's, ooh, very nearly. Damn. And that's it. 86 is going to take it over Anthony. Well, you know what? If you take a look at some takeaways from that match, I think Anthony needs to go back, hit the lab, and just look at punching some of these unsafe things from Ken. Yeah, I Maybe think. Maybe not too familiar with the, the own mirror matchup.